Welcome to Computer Education Unlock Channel. Today I will teach how to make ISO by inbuilt application software with Windows 11. Installing such an ISO will install the application software along with it. This method is a little difficult, but I have shown it in a very simple way. So watch the video without skipping. Let's start the video. Virtual box download. Open first website. Click on Windows Hosts. Automatically download started. Double click to open virtual box software. Yes. Next. Next. Yes. Yes. Install. Click on New. Create a new virtual machine. Type VM name. Choose Windows 11 ISO. Next. Next finish. Click on setting. Go to storage option. Set hard disk SATA port 2 or 3. First boot order CD DVD. Go to system option. Extended features. And tick enable EFI. TPM. None. OK. Start to play virtual machine. I will install Windows 11 in virtual box. Windows key plus R to open run. Type disk MGMT dot MSC to open disk management. Split some space from the C drive. Right click on the C drive go to shrink volume. You can give the partition size according to your needs. Shrink. Right click on unallocated space. Go to new simple volume. Next. 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 Finish. New drive created. Installing VirtualBox additional tools is very important because it is required for sharing data of virtual system with main system. Go to Devices menu. Click on Insert Guest Additional CD Image. Double click to open Setup Installation. Yes. Next. Next. Install. Restart Computer. Go to the setting. Click to Shared Folder option. Add New Shared Folder. Select the folder. Tick Add Mount. Tick Make Permanent. OK. OK. After doing this files can be transferred from main system to virtual system. Windows 11 must be activated first. Then the required application software should be installed. Go to C Drive. Enter Windows folder. Enter System32 folder. Enter sysprep folder. Right click on sysprep.axa. Tick mark generalize. Shutdown option. Shutdown. OK. It will take some time to complete. Once done, the system will shut down. Keyrain boot CD download. Open the first website. Click on download option. Scroll down. Click file name. Download started automatically. Go to setting. Click on storage option. Select optical drive. Choose a disk file. Select Herein boot CD ISO file. Open. OK. Windows 10 Live will start from Herein boot CD. The Windows 11 is installed in the D drive. Here you can see all Windows 11 files and folders. F drive is completely empty. The Vim file will be created here. Open command prompt. This command for help. This command capture image for help. Main command line. Ctrl C for copy. Ctrl V for paste. After pasting the command, you need to make some changes. Enter empty drive letter. In my case I am entering F. Enter Windows 11 install drive letter. D is my Windows 11 install drive. Enter a WIM file name. Press enter to start. It will take some time to create the WIM file.
This is the WIM file. Go to setting. Click to storage option. Click optical drive. Remove disk from virtual drive. OK. Play virtual machine. These steps are repeated because sysprep was run. Go to devices menu. Click shared folder option. Click shared folder settings. Go to shared folder menu. Click to add share. Choose your folder path. Tick make permanent. OK. OK. After doing this files can be transferred from main system to virtual system. Enter D drive. Copy the WIM file from the D drive of the virtual system. Then go to the main system drive and paste the file. The WIM file has been pasted in the main system. First, right click Rufus and run as administrator. Once opened, click on select. Then select the ISO file and open it. Click start. This will bypass the 4GB RAM, secure boot and TPM 2.0 requirements. This will remove the Microsoft account that is required after Windows is installed. This will skip the data collection phases that occur after Windows installation. OK. OK. It will take some time to create bootable pen drive. Once the bootable is complete, I will copy all the contents of the pen drive and paste it in the Windows 11 folder. First open the Windows 11 folder. Open source folder. Delete install dot .wim file. Yes. I will cut the WIM file created in the virtual system. Then I will paste in the source folder. Once pasted, the WIM file replacement process will be completed. Then install the NT-Lite software. Double click on setup file. OK. I accept. Next. 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 Install. Finish. Open NT Lite. Click Add Option. Go to Image Folder. Select the Windows 11 folder and open it. Right click on Windows 11. Select Load. It will take some time to complete the process. Go to Apply Option. Select Save Image. Image Format Standard Editable WIM. Create Image. Put an ISO name and save. Put an ISO label name. OK. Click Proceed. Yes. It will take some time to complete the process. The modified ISO is ready to use. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon to get latest video updates. If you have any questions or suggestions about the video, please comment. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.